You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So where do you want to go? Is how often does this happen in your kitchen? Gosh, Mom, pancakes. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Is there some kind of problem? Let's take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. some opportunity. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. Eleven K requesting assistance in pursuit of suspect aboard the eleven ten University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units, officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. A suspect aboard the eleven ten University streetcar headed Ass, Cole. Don't lose him. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. We need to get closer! Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Give me... End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. A service of the American Century Broadcasting System. Some swell harmony is right here by Miss Evelyn Knight. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? Fires benefit a lesion in some way. 
I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. Couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? calling Richard Nixon a crook next. A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator. Named Jack Kelso, and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Sign on the door says, Miss. There's no need to come into the office, Miss Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the What settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case filed. got to be more in these files.
Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes? What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. I'll be in touch. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. 
She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. She killed nobody for the husband. Bulldozing and starting again. Leland Monroe. The man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. <laughs> 